Welcome back everyone to day seven of Element a Day in May 2018. Day seven means it is the last day of our first week. Ah, it's interesting for me to see how the elements this week have come together and I've actually bookended the week so I've started and I'm finishing with these two naturally occurring rare earth metals and almost everything in the middle was a synthesized element, not counting my special Cinco de Mayo episode. I almost feel like this week should have been nuclear week since I talked about elements synthesized using nuclear physics and also scientists who were significant in the field of nuclear research. And the nuclear theme continues with today's element, element 64, gadolinium, a rare earth metal used in some nuclear reactors, very much like day one, which was samarium, element 62, another rare earth metal also used in nuclear reactors. Like samarium, gadolinium was actually named for the mineral it was discovered in, gadolinite, which was in turn named for chemist Johann Gadolin. Also like samarium, it was discovered by none other than François Lecoq de bois -Baudrin. <laughs> To bring things even more full circle this week, gadolinium is used in x-ray systems, which is mildly interesting if you watched yesterday's element named for the man who discovered x-rays. Everything is coming together. <laughs> Johann Gadolin was an expert in the lanthanide series of elements, and if you want to become an expert in lanthanides too, check out Lanthanide Week, which was week two of Element a Day in May 2016. I can't believe this is my fourth year of Element a Day in May. I try to make every year a little different, so I hope you've enjoyed this week one of Element a Day in May 2018. I'm back tomorrow in a brand new location for a brand new week. We are going to continue down history lane, but in a slightly different context. Get excited, because starting tomorrow, I, Jesse Hendricks, will bring to you Everyday Science's very first Alchemy Week. See you then. Element a day in May.